Here is my solution and one other solution I like the best to stop the leak in the Gulf of Mexico. The first cap they put on formed methane hydrate also known as methane calthrate which plugged it. This methane hydrate is also well known to stop up pipes when pumping oil and is considered a nuisance. My idea is simply to use the methane hydrate to plug up the leaking pipe. This is how it would work. Here is the leaking pipe as it is now. Methane hydrate is not plugging it up now because there is no water inside the pipe to form the methane hydrate. If a thin pipe can be inserted into the leaking pipe and have the seawater pumped into it, it will introduce water into the pipe so methane hydrate can start to form. It might not form exactly like this in a perfect cone, but it is the general idea. The pipe pumping the surrounding seawater into the leaking pipe should not have methane hydrate form in it because it will only have pure seawater in it without any methane. After some time injecting the seawater, the methane hydrate should build up to a point where it just about completely blocks the pipe. A cap, or whatever they feel is best, can then be used to keep it sealed. The methane hydrate alone should seal the pipe for a good long time because it is so cold, so deep, and at such high pressure but a cap will help make it for sure to never leak again. Some reasons I thought this might not work is because I thought the methane hydrate might be too cold when it formed and make the pipe brittle from being too cold. But after looking on Wikipedia, methane hydrate seems to form this crystal matrix with the water which is about the same temperature as the water around it. The chart here seems to confirm this idea as there being no transition stage in the graph which would indicate a lowering of temperature as the methane hydrate forms. The second reason might be because the methane hydrate might not stick to the walls of the pipe with such a fast stream of fluid. Methane hydrate is already well known to clog pipes with high pressure and low temperature, so it seems it does stick. The exact thickness of the methane hydrate needed should be dependent on the shear strength of the methane hydrate, the shear strength between the methane hydrate and the wall of the pipe, and the difference in pressure from inside the pipe to outside the pipe. If there is a great difference in pressure with a low shear strength, it only means that a thicker layer of methane hydrate will be needed by inserting the pipe a little deeper and then injecting the surrounding seawater. It seems like it would work, and it's probably the easiest way to fix the leak if it will work. Please help fix this leak by passing the link to this video in your emails and text messages on Twitter and to everyone you know, and maybe the president or someone over at BP will see it, and we can get this leak plugged. Thanks to everyone that helps. The solution I like second and third best, I found on YouTube and can be found at this address. His solution is good if the bolts can be taken off and the new part can be put on. A problem may arise due to the bolts now being stuck firmly in place. I also would like to point out that he does make several valid points in his video, and his solution does have key differences from the solution BP already has installed. Perhaps the biggest problem to both solutions would be a sudden expansion of methane causing a second blowout as the mixture of oil and methane rose to the surface. This blowout is what took down the drilling platform that caused the leak in the first place, or at least that's what I read, so they need to be really careful when drilling other wells in this area. I would recommend a velocity valve joint being used every couple of lengths of pipe that would signal to divert the flow from the pipe into the sea on the next velocity valve joint higher should the velocity of flow go above a certain level. A sudden jump in fluid velocity means a blowout is about to happen. If the blowout mostly made of gas is diverted into the sea for a short period of time, it should reach the surface without causing any harm. The rapid expansion of gas is only harmful in an enclosed pipe where, when it reaches the top, it is like a cannon going off. Instead, if the gas is released to the ocean, it can expand in an open surface and be very dispersed when it reaches the surface, causing no harm. As a closing note, methane is probably what our car should be running on, as it is so abundant, clean burning, easy to make, and way easier to store than hydrogen. Cow dung, landfills, and many other things naturally make methane, so it should be easy to obtain and make in comparison to other fuels.